welcome to Making Music. Hey, today our show is about drums. I, maybe you've noticed. And uh, today it's about Mapex drums. And with me today on my right is Steve Jacobs and uh, regional sales manager, right? Right. For Mapex drums. That's great, right. And on my left, Chris Sears. He's uh, the drum department manager at Guitar Showcase and a drum instructor at Showcase Music Institute at SMI. That's right. And I'm Gary Weinroth from Guitar Showcase. So today we have, uh, we have kind of a unique show because drums are an important part of every band, but yet we don't talk about them a lot. And you know, they're just kind of in the background and you know, they, they hold the whole thing together. They're part of the beat and part of the backbone of the group. So Mapex drums, I know we sell a lot of those at Showcase. Tell us a little bit about the history of Mapex drums. That's your department. Gary, uh, Mapex has been around as a brand for about 15, 16 years now, going on the 16th year. Uh, it's a subsidiary of a company called KHS, which is a Taiwanese-owned company. And uh, the cool thing about Mapex, one of the cool things, is the fact that they are what they call vertically integrated. They manufacture everything that goes into the drum set, the, the heads, uh, the screws, the nuts, the bolts, the lugs, they make their own shells. So nothing's outsourced. <coughs> Everything is made in-house, and that's how a company like Mapex can offer a lifetime warranty on the shells and a five-year warranty on the hardware, which is pretty unique in the industry. Most other manufacturers are like a one to three-year warranty on hardware. Ours is five, and uh, the shells are a lifetime warranty. So uh, like I said, they've been around for about 15 years. Uh, they manufacture drums uh, for other people prior to that, uh, but this is their house. This is KHS's house brand, and uh, we're real proud of them. And, we appreciate your support. Well, now, when you say the shells, we're talking about this part of the drum. Now, you got to understand, we got a lot of guitar players out here, and we don't understand this right. stuff. Right. Yeah, the actual shell, you, uh, the actual wood uh, a portion of the of the drum set, uh, in this case, the shell, uh, would be warranted for life, and that would be against ply separations or maybe the shell may be going out around. These are this is a uh, what they call a cross lamp laminated stagger seam construction. So you have a seam and a seam and a seam and a seam and a seam, and the plies are. This, this way, so there's really no need for reinforcing rings when you have a construction process like that because there's a seam about every few inches, you see what I'm saying? So it's a concentric kind of a situation around So each the, ply kind of reinforces the next. Exactly and, right. And then they go cross crane. Exactly right. So not all drums are made out of wood necessarily. I mean, it's I true. know the, the little toy drums and stuff are made out of plastic and, and right. that sort of thing. but. Now, when you when you say plies, is is this a is this a lacquer finish on this Saturn series? Gary, this is a lacquer finish. This is an eight uh, an eight coat hand rubbed lacquer finish. Uh, the shells on this is a, this particular set here is a Saturn series set, and it is a four ply maple and two ply walnut. It's one of the thinnest shells in the market uh, today. It's five point one millimeter. <coughs> pardon me, in the toms and the snare drum and the bass drum is 7.2 millimeters, so they're, ex they're exceedingly thin shells and that produces a more resonant kind of sound. We're really proud of this drum set and uh, it's really really reasonably price, uh, priced. It's What's the street price? Well, the street what? price on something, a set like this, five piece, would be about 15, uh, $15.99, $15.29, right in that okay, general around, range. Around $15, $1,600. Right, sure. And so when you say a lacquer finish, we have we essentially like a guitar. Absolutely. And you have you have multiple woods, kind of like a Les Paul as maple and, and mahogany. mahogany. You've got walnut and maple. That's right. And so, there, because this is a tone instrument. It is a very resonant Ab instrument, just like, like you see a guitar just top. like a guitar. Right, and uh, like you were saying, because of the thinness of the shells, there's a wide, wide tuning range uh, with, with this particular uh, thinness of a shell, like I say, 5.1 for, uh, for the toms and for the, uh, for the snare drum. And, um, so it's, you have a lot of options as far as tuning. The bass drum is real, can be tuned real deep or it can be tuned more into the mid-range and the same with the toms as well. So you get a lot of, a lot of okay. very wide uh, tuning range here. Okay, well now what, what, what series is Chris playing over here? Now Chris is playing the, a QR set. That's an Onyx Sparkle. It's real popular. It's, it's a great set for an intermediate or a starter uh, kind of a set. Notice, if you'll notice in the toms, the way they're mounted to the, uh, the tom holder off of the bass drum. Um, they have That's, all the isolation brackets. Yeah, it's right an here. isolation. Go ahead, Chris. It, it, yeah, it's great that it's all, this is, this is really the, one of the only sets on the market that you're getting this kind of quality that is coming from the same, same type of Saturn set with the isolated toms. This, this is kind of a, like the, the starting point for a lot of guys. This set uh, starts right around the $500 range. You get a, not only a pair of hi-hats, but a cymbal, stands for them, bass drum pedal, snare drum stand, all the mounting hardware, basically everything you see except this symbol here uh, in the stand that all it's on. All part of this for around $500 right, street price. Right, right around $500, but the, the quality of it is just 
amazing for the price. Like I said, you're getting the features of you know a, a pro quality set like the Saturn series, uh -huh. you know, but they're a little downscale. But you still get the isolated toms, ball and socket tom holder, so you can move this tom around wherever you want. And it's not a ratchet style like a lot of the other starter sets. So, so it's infinite just, movement. Yeah, it makes it so when you're getting started and you want to set up exactly exactly how you want the drums positioned to your comfort, it's going to make it really easy for you to obtain that you know. Uh, adjusting capabilities to make it comfortable on you. And everybody's different. You're left-handed, I know. Yeah, right right okay. now, this is, people are probably looking the same. And Steve is right-handed. Yeah. Right. So, so you guys, you're opposing forces here. This is this is good. And, and typically, if we had two drummers on stage, left and right, this is what we would do? Exactly. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, it, no matter how you set up right or left-handed, uh, the hardware that you get is going to you're going to be able to adjust your set the right way and the other great thing I really like about these drums compared to uh, a lot of other manufacturers when you get in a low-end um, you know drums that you'd see at Toys R Us that's what separates you know when you when you go into a music store you're gonna see something of you know a, a lot better quality for example this has Remo drum heads already on it so it's not paper paper drum heads like at a toy store <laughs> that you beat up after a couple of days you know, you actually get good quality drum heads on it. No good animals hardware. are killed. I mean, right. it's, yeah, no. We, we, no, absolutely <laughs> none are injured. No ride, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this, this I can, I can see through the top of this, and I see the wood shells, much as I, as I see over here. But you have a what we call a wrapped covering right. around is, it. it. It's a wood drum, but it's a wrapped finish. So they don't do the the, the fine lacquer finish like they do on the more expensive exactly. kind of a set. Actually, uh, uh, Gary, there's a, a, the, a set just one above this QR series is what they call a VX series. Mm -hmm. I think we have a uh, tom down here on the, it's a blue tom over here to the uh, far uh, stage right there. Is there is one of the tom toms? Yeah, okay. that's actually a lacquer series uh, kit. It's a, it's, a, it's a matte finish, but that can be had for a matte price of right around six twenty nine. So okay, that's, so uh, a little more money. You have you have that kind of a finish, which right. is very cool. Sure. Okay. And, uh, really, it's just cheaper to do the wrap for the for the beginner level. It's also more durable. I might. Add. It's a very good point. <laughs> you know what else too? A lot of people like just they, they just like the looks of a wrap finish. As an example, right. you can do sparkles like this sparkles, for a relatively yeah. inexpensive price point. Whereas if you get into the little more expensive uh, sparkles, uh, the uh, sparkle finish is a little more expensive. Now I assume that that the that the lacquer finish sounds better. I mean. It's because it, it allows the well, shell to not, resonate. Not only, not only is it going to have the, the nicer look on stage, um, you know, and be able to see the, the wood grain that you're getting in that type of uh, drum set. Like, that's a, a maple on the outside, so it's got a lot, um, you know. Uh, it's character to the wood, sure. Exactly, right. compared mm -hmm. to, you know, basswood or some of the other starter sets, and that's <coughs> one of the reasons they do it. Like, on the VX uh, series that Steve was talking about, that has a maple outside, right? It does. It has a ma maple, what they call a finish ply, Gary. So it's the uh, the actual shell itself is basswood, but the a but the outer ply is the actual finish ply is maple because maple tends to take on stain and, and lacquer a little more sure. a little more readily and it's a little little prettier wood. Same thing they do on guitars. Exactly. A, a veneer on top. Yeah, and you know another good them. point that Chris was talking about too. <clears throat> Mapex applies some of the same manufacturing techniques even to lesser expensive sets. As an example, like that QR series set. If you notice, the lugs. If you can see through the 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 top of the clear. Um, Clear drum head. The the lugs have one drill hole, so it's a minimal contact uh, kind of uh, minimally invasive uh, uh, attaching system uh, for the lugs. Other manufacturers tend to use two uh, two drill holes per lug. Mapex uses one pretty much throughout the entire line. And something else, not to change the subject as far as back to the Saturn here. You notice on the Saturn series kit, there are, are isolation mounts on the bass drum legs. How the how the bass drum legs are actually are actually uh, spanned between the two lugs. These guys there's a here. you're right. There's a little isolation mount there. So back to this this minimally minimally invasive concept as far as manufacturing. They try and drill as few holes and pierce the shell as, as little as possible to maintain that structural resonant integrity of the shell. Uh, and the same thing applies to the. Uh, to the Tom uh, mounting system, if you'll notice, it's mounted on rails, and it actually spans the uh, the uh, lugs in the front and the lugs in the back. That whole system can be removed. So if somebody wants to take those these the, the, that mounting system off the bass drum, we we have uh, lugs that they can retrofit uh, the bass drum with, and just remove these toms and mount them on a side stand. So there's a lot of options, but 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 the whole fundamental approach is to maintain that that resonant quality of the drums, even at the low end. Yeah, they go as far as 
the floor tom on the Saturn series set, not only are the legs isolated on it, but the, the feet of the floor tom have springs in them. So that's going to make it so the vibrations from the bass drum and, you know, you stomping around on the floor isn't going to make your, your floor tom rattle. So in like a studio situation or even when you're out gigging live, it's going to make it a lot easier for you to mic up your kit. Uh, as well as get the just the sound out of the floor tom rather than all the drums. Right, you don't want sympathetic resonance right. from the other exactly. drums. Exactly, and the, the vibrations, you know, that that really takes care of that. Sure. Um, the the other thing about the the Saturn kit, like you're saying, with the the bass drum isolation, uh, this is the only bass drum that I've ever seen on the market that only has 21 holes. There's one hole per lug, there ten you go. ten lugs on both sides, mm -hmm. and one air hole, and that's. I've never seen anything like it, and that's why, you know, people come in and uh, see me in the shop, and they're like, "What's a, a good bass drum?" And I immediately go to this because it, it just it Fewer really holes. has its own right. sound. You could, uh, you know, either tighten it up and make it nice and punchy, or really low and boomy, and it's got the huge tuning radius like you're talking about, right. and it's it's really adds from it's because of that isolation in the uh, shell construction. You know, something else too, Chris is. With a drum set like this, with those features, with the, with the maple and the walnut um, shell construction, with the isolation um, ideas that they've incorporated in the set, like you mentioned, the floor tom legs, the spring-loaded uh, legs, so the actual feet are spring-loaded, and just a variety of, of the features that, that are involved with this set, like Gary was asking earlier, the map or minimum advertised price for a set like this is 1649 Street tends to be a little less than, like, like I mentioned, this, the, uh, the 1599 range. But uh, there are very few other manufacturers in the market. In fact, I can't think of one. And there are some great ones out there. I'm not trying to badmouth anybody, but I can't think of any other manufacturer on the market in the world that offers a drum set with this many features at that price point. That I mean, that money, just doesn't yeah. exist. And that goes back to the idea that, that because they make everything, there are fewer profit points built into the finished right. cost of this drum set. They sets. don't have a lot of middlemen. There, there's no right. middlemen. Yeah. And, so, and so the... The real key word with Mapex is just more bang for your buck. I mean, you just get more drum set for the money. And like I say, for sixteen forty nine with hardware, yeah. that includes yeah. everything you see on this stand up. Yeah, that's important. And I noticed that it's that it's it's heavy, uh, double braced. I have some of the things on here. But the uh, if we can look at the hardware at all, these uh, they have double braced legs. Even your less expensive set has that. They're not as heavy as the better stuff. But uh, I know when we were setting this up, I'm picking these up and I'm going, this stuff is heavy. Yeah. I mean, this is, you know, this true. is a lot more work than, than being a guitar player. No, it's true. So now the, uh, the tuning, okay, I mean, because that's, that's important. I know that, okay, this, this set for the money obviously, you know, is, is a great set. And that's, by the way, that's less money than a decent electric guitar. I mean, a real right, nice sure. electric guitar. I mean, we have decent electric guitars for this price range. But this goes for around 500. Yeah, right okay. Around 500. With with everything, and we certainly have good electric guitars for that. But when you get up into the you know to the pro instruments, really, it's not a lot to spend. But yet, we get parents that come in to showcase, and they say, "Well, oh, you know, the kid is just starting out." <laughs> That's why we have this. That's and what we're uh, say. now you would. I mean, how long have you been playing drums now? Oh, I've been playing since I was a little kid. Okay, uh, so too too long to remember. Uh, at least 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and. And uh, and you're a, you're an instructor as well, and uh, you wouldn't have a problem taking this out on a gig. Oh, not a problem yeah. at all. Actually, um, in the rental department, there's a set that's very similar to this that I've actually taken out on some gigs. Okay. Uh, you know, situations where I I have a Mapex set of my own, and I've had it up in San Francisco at a practice studio, or somewhere where I didn't really want to have to drive, you know, very far to get it. I just bring one of these, take it out. Tune it up, it sounds great. You get it all mic'd up and you're getting, like I said, a lot of the same qualities in the, the higher end set. You know, this, the sound is different, but you know, the features that you're getting are still there. So it, basically, un unlike uh, you know, a lot of other sets, it, it wouldn't be something that you'd be em embarrassed to play on. Right, right. Because e even though, you know, I got uh, the step up from there is the Orion series mm -hmm. and it's their flagship model. That's what you play? And that's what I'm playing and on. And that's only proper. <laughs> <laughs> you should do that. Yeah. But when I don't, you know, it's not the only set I play on. Right, I've right. played Absolutely. on some of the M. Birch series, the, the VX series. Right. And you, no matter, the, the nice thing I like about Mapex is no matter what set you go with, you're definitely getting the best value for your money. I mean, there's nothing that else on the market that really, 
you know, is this detailed and having all the features for this pr kind of price range? Okay, well now you mentioned tuning, and I, you know, a lot of people don't understand that. You know, they think just go, you know, just hit the, hit the drums. Talk to me about tuning now. Uh, I, you, you mentioned earlier, you said, well, I can make it ring a little less by just tuning one side a little softer than the other or yeah. something. Okay. The, there's lots of different methods in tuning. But the, the basics, I could actually show you. Is this something you teach your students, I assume? A absolutely. Okay, and you the know, customers at Showcase, you show them how to tune their drums? Yeah, and it, it's just like the, the drum heads are like a guitar string, right? And just like guitar strings, when, when they get old, you got to change them. Right. And when you have brand new guitar strings on, or drum, drum heads in this, this case, you know, you're going to get a much better sound. Um, so, you know, when you first start out tuning, you want to start with new heads. Right. Because that's going to make it so you could get the best possible sound. Um, it's also good to, you know, a, a lot of people come in and they ask me in the shop, you know, I got a set, I, I have these sizes, I need new heads. And I ask them, okay, uh, do you want to replace the, the bottom resonant heads as well? And they say, oh, well, they're not beaten up. They're, you know, I don't they're see fine. any, they're, they're okay. <laughs> But the thing is, that's where you're getting, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I want that, that nice ring that you get. And that's, you know, a big factor yeah. in it is both these heads. sound great. I mean, yeah. you know, they, both, they both sound good. So what, what, what are the differences when you tune it? Can you show us on this or you want to show us yeah, on I'll these show, toms? I'll show or? you on, on the tom over okay. here. Okay. Because those toms, I noticed you have those set up. Now, are those three different series? Now, these are three different series drum sets. This is the VX series here. This, uh, this here is the M. Birch series, and this is the Pro M, or, uh, yeah, Pro M series right here. And the difference is, is this is a basswood shell, this is a birch shell, and this is a maple shell. Uh, and they all have different tonal qualities, uh, as well as they're all going to kind of have a different amount of resonance, a different amount of uh, decay to them. And tuning is a huge factor in what your, your drums are going to sound like. A lot of people don't realize that. You know, they, they go somewhere, and I, I, you know, like I said, I, I've been playing uh, on gigs on you know a VX series and an M Birch series, and once you get it tuned up, it sounds great. And uh, if you spend the time uh, to tune your drums, it's really going to benefit not only you know your your uh, sound, but also your playing. You're going to feel like uh, you know you're getting more out of your playing because they're in tune. Uh, if you have your tom separated into thirds or fourths. Um, you're going to be able to create uh, different melodies with them instead of just having a drum to hit. Um, so it's really important. And the, the first thing you want to do when you uh, go to tune your, your heads is, like I said, you get new drum heads, and you want to start with the bottom one. So really quick, I'm going to loosen this, and I'm going to flip it over. Now this is just a quick little tuning guide. If you have more questions, you could always give me a call and ask. But basically what you want to do is you want to start out by seating the head, and that's basically stretching the head out. So I'm going to press down on this, and if you could hear, it's cracking just a little bit, and that's the head stretching uh, to fit the bearing edge of the drum. The bearing edge is the very edge of the drum. Uh, and then what you want to do is you want to go from one side to the other, and you want to slowly, you see how that stretched it out, and that one is lower, so you want to tighten that up. And I always say, you know, go either a quarter turn or half turn. And you do that around the drum, right, side to side. Now, I'm holding the bottom head, and the reason for that is if you hold the bottom head, you're going to be tuning the, the, the head that you, you're intending on, on tuning instead of uh, getting the sound out of both that are going to basically just go off of each other, and, and that's what creates that resonance. Um, so. Once again, you go side to side, and I'm going to do it really quick. And then, once you get it, kind of set how you want on the bottom side of the drum. That's the resonant side, the side you don't hit. Go ahead and flip over the drum, and you want to do the exact same thing on the top. Now, the top head you could either have at the same tension, the same pitch, and you could, you could find that pitch by, like I said, muting the the bottom head or the top head whichever one you want to find out the top head's at this pitch the bottom head is at that pitch so they're they're pretty close to each other that one's a little lower so you want the top head usually the same or or a little lower in pitch 
um, then the bottom head, and that's going to give you a good, you know, nice tone to your drum. Now these are three different series, so this is a sound that you're going to get out of basswood. Now this was the, the VX set we were talking about. Right. Um, it has a full isolation mounts on it, uh, as well as the, the M Birch and the Pro M. So you're getting all those features with all three sets, but the wood is a different type. Uh, the outside of this looks similar to, to these drums because they're all maple outsides, but the, all the plies the shell construction, not the outer veneer, uh, on these two drums. Uh, this is going to be basswood, this is going to be birch, and then this drum is 100% maple. So really quick, I'm just going to show you sound. This is the basswood. This is the birch. Yeah, it doesn't have a, a, quite as much uh, attack to it, uh, as well as it's more of a balanced sound as far as the amount of highs, the amount of lows, uh, and even mids that you're going to get. Now with maple here, I'm going to tune this up a little so you can... The bottom head is very loose, so just going to quickly tune it. But you're going to notice that the maple drum has more attack to it. And that's why a lot of drummers use maple when they play live. It's because they want that attack. They want that initial, you know... And it's got a great amount of, you know, it, it's a beautiful sounding drum, mm -hmm. you know? And I mean, you get these all in tune, you could tune them out separately. And like I was saying, you, these are all 12 inch toms. So obviously we can't get them spaced as much as we'd like, but if you get your toms tuned in the thirds or fourth, you could do little melodies. Like I said, the maple drum just has a great amount of attack to it. You can tell the difference between the maple and the, the birch the, by the amount of attack as well as the, how, how even the, the birch sounds. So more attack there. So that, that's, you know, a little, little guide to tuning. Uh, you could go you know, you could, we could spend, we, we could tape like a four hour show on tuning one drum if we, if we wanted to. So tuning, tuning drums, we only have about five minutes to go. Right. <laughs> you know, and, we'll, and I know we're going to do another show next week on the, uh, on the snare drums that, That's right. that Mapex makes. And, uh, and we'll get into that a little bit more too because uh, we're going we're gonna to see some video on that probably on the next show because we're not going to have time on this show. But, uh, so tuning drums is important, and that's something that kind of, you know, transcends both these price ranges from your professional kit up here to your uh, to your lower end. Steve, you got anything to add on the tuning? That that uh, I mean, I, I I had no idea, you know, until I was in the music industry that we even tuned drums. But you know, actually, Chris did a pretty good job of covering the whole thing. There's some additional features with with regard to tuning snare drums, which don't apply necessarily to the tom. The fundamentals do, but but there's some different tuning aspects that you would look at with a snare drum as an example, and even with a bass drum. But let's save the uh, let's save the snare drum tuning for the next show, if you don't mind. Right. Yeah. And, we'll do uh, that. Well, but talk, uh, talk about the bass drum. We only have three minutes. So okay. Chris, you're going to want to arm yourself too over here because <laughs> we'll. We'll end with uh, you guys playing. I, I like that. But sure. I generally tune the bass drum a little. Uh, the uh, the batter head, which is the backside head, a little mm -hmm. a little tighter than I do my front resonant head. I prefer to not have a hole in the front. A lot okay. of guys do, which allows a little more air to escape. And if we're miking, we yeah, you good can put spot the, for the microphone. Exactly right. But right. I like a wide open kind of a closed uh, double headed bass drum sound. Just a little more resonant and you know just a real uh, a lively kind of a sound. But Gary, one of the things I wanted to talk to before we or talk about before we close. And that is, uh, in addition to the great drums you see here, there are some value-added features that Mapex is offering, promotionally speaking, uh, particularly with regard to the Pro-M series, which we had a chance to touch on a little bit. Mm -hmm. But with, with Pro-M drums this year, we're offering a free Black Panther snare drum. It's a seven by 12, all maple, uh, uh, with a cherry veneer on the outside. And but we're gonna get into that snare drum on the... We will, but, but it's show. also, okay. an, it, in other words, it's a value-added thing that comes when just, a, it's a freebie and it's... Right. Uh, 
uh, like I say, a value-added feature that not a lot of other people are doing. And then on the M. Birch uh, this year, uh, we're also continuing with what we did last year, which was a six-piece set for a five-piece price. Okay. Uh, so well, we, we've got about a minute to go. You guys okay. play a little and take us on out and uh, keep little, going for, through the credits. A little here. faster, Rock? Yeah, yeah a little sure. faster. Yeah. It. 